Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how you can combine uh, many NetCDF file uh, having same dimension. Uh, so in my previous video, I show you how you can open a NetCDF file and uh, you can save it uh, in CSV format. Now in this video, I will show uh, that if you have many uh, NetCDF file, for example, you are downloading a daily data uh, for any parameter and uh, you have uh, 365 files. Uh, you should remember for this video that this uh, for we are combining the NCDF file only if it has similar type of dimension. And the file that I will be talking about today has a three dimensional file that is lat, lat long and uh, data. So uh, if you are, as I'm saying previously, that if you have uh, like daily data and um, uh, for example, you have 365 uh, files for a year for a, over a particular domain. And now you want to work uh, on uh, those files, but it will be very difficult to execute individual file and work with individual, uh, you know, uh, data files. So it is always convenient for all the researcher to uh, combine those NCDF file and to have a single file uh, for a year. So uh, as I always say that uh, you need to uh, uh, first uh, go to the directory where you have uh, put all the data uh, all the NCDF file uh, in a directory so as you can see that I am already in my working directory and I have uh, put three NCDF file which I will going to combine today and uh, before combining I will uh, like to show you what type of data it is so uh, before uh, doing uh, this, before opening this file, uh, you need to install uh, two packages. One is raster and another one is uh, NCDF. You, if you haven't installed them, then you can type the command uh, install.packages and then uh, within the inverted comma, you, you can uh, write uh, raster and uh, for netcdf uh, you can write netcdf4 if you have already uh, installed this file you just do the library uh, raster and library uh, netcdf4 so i will do this next i will open uh, one of the file and show you how it look like okay so um, let's open the first file for example, I will name it as M and raster. Let's take the first file, this one. Okay. Uh, and I will then hit enter. Then we will see uh, what type of file is this. As you can see, uh, the dimension, as I have mentioned, it has, X, uh, it has row, column and the value. Uh, so it has uh, 13 to 30 cross uh, uh, value that is it has 900 grid point uh, this is the extent it is mainly over India this is the uh, you know uh, longitude extent and this is the latitude extent so uh, other two files these two files have same type of dimension you should remember that these two files have same type of dimension uh, uh, but this two file is for different days. So we have files that is for different days, but the dimension and the extent of this file is same. So um, I will just open this file. So I will open this file. Um, like uh, I will get values. Okay, get values of M. And in N, I have the values. So this is the values. So this is the value for 900 grids of a single day. Now I want to combine 
this uh, 3D file as you can see here 3D files uh, in a single file this is our task so uh, th this is uh, the code uh, for uh, this is a small code for executing this task many of you were asking in my previous video to provide uh, the code uh, so I have uh, given the code uh, here if you uh, like uh, you can modify it uh, according to your you know data files uh, according to your necess necessity so first we are going this this command means that uh, all the files that is present in the directory having uh, nick.nc extension will be stored in file list okay so i will do uh, i will just uh, execute this line so now i will show you what is in the file list file list so as you can see we have three files that is in our working directory now we have uh, this three file in our uh, you know uh, this uh, file list uh, uh, come file list name then uh, i will run this small uh, you know small code so what what is this this is a for loop this is very famous loop in r so uh, this means that it will do it, this whole you know loop will run th number of times the file uh, the, the value of the file list is for example here we have three number one two three so it will run for three times so it means it will run for one i i in 1 is to the length of 3 so i will show you what is the length of 3 length oh, sorry. yeah length of uh, file list here is as you will see that it is 3 so it the whole code for loop uh, code will run three times so uh, and uh, since it is three if, if you have 365 files uh, in this working directory then it would be 365 in this case so <clears throat> the first uh, line says that we will uh, open this first file first here I will be one when it will be run for the first time so it will be uh, first file will open and uh, it will be stored in uh, the uh, you know in input variable so uh, the second line says that it will get the values of this input variable and then it will store in data and then this data will be first when uh, i is one then this data will stored in uh, another file which is known as uh, data one and when uh, i will be two then as you can see if i is one then data will be stored in data one otherwise else if it is two or three then it will come c bind data one means first one and then the data means when uh, after uh, storing the uh, first value in data one it will combine the second one in column bind c bind means column bind it will column bind the second and third one and then again stored in in the data one and uh, this is nothing i i have just uh, you know uh, print i means when uh, uh, it will print the number of times the uh, code will run it it will it will print it. it it is not that necessary you can skip it uh, skip this uh, step so i will run this code and uh, you will see so I will just run this code so uh, it has successfully ran there is no error or warning in it and uh, as I have uh, mentioned the uh, print I so uh, it, since it has uh, three files so it has printed one two three if it has 365 or 10 files it, it will be uh, printed one to ten or 360 one to 365 and so on so 
uh, let's see what is uh, in data one so first i will show you what is in data means the single one so in data we have only 900 uh, data values okay so uh, then then uh, as per our code if we run successfully then we uh, we will have three column with 900 rows okay that means it will have uh, uh, 900 into 3 data matrix okay let's see if, uh, if it is correct or not so in data 1 we have see we have uh, three columns as i was mentioning previously so yeah so it has three columns and uh, it has uh, 900 rows but it hasn't printed in this console so i will show you in uh, by printing it in a csv file so uh, this part is done this job is done that we have saved all the uh, you know uh, file that we have in our working directory to a single uh, object which is data one now uh, this part is done then we need to save it for our future work so we can save it in csv file uh, which is you know we can uh, see it uh, by like uh, it is very um, uh, visually it is very good uh, when we print it in excel but uh, sometimes uh, we need to store the data uh, so i always prefer to save the data in rda file so we can uh, save uh, this data one that we have printed just now in dot rda so i will just run this uh, <clears throat> um, line so as you can see now a data file known as data uh, one dot rda is saved in our working directory to show what is in this uh, data uh, one i will print it in um, csv file and show you guys how it looked like uh, sorry data one dot file equals to data one dot csv oops uh, what happened mm, cannot open the connection oh so So as you can see now there is a file named data1 I will open it for you guys and you can see yes so it has three column and 900 rows okay so this is my uh, like a single data file so likewise you can uh, if I have like 365 days or 12 months, then my column will be here. If I have 12 months, then will be 12 column. If I have 365 days, then it, I have 365 column. Uh, some people also work with hourly data. So, you know, uh, 24 into 365 column will be there. And uh, it is like pretty easy to see and visualize your data. You can also, uh, you know, uh, if you want to see uh, with grid uh, for particular grid then you can uh, you know, see from this um, so uh, you know uh, this is I think it's very pretty cool and nice way to visualize and combine your net CDF file so um, I hope you have uh, learned uh, some like you know things uh, how to combine the net cdf file from this video uh, uh, if you have any comment as usual uh, please do email me uh, i will be uh, happy to answer your uh, queries and um, uh, i will try to make uh, some more videos on net cdf file as uh, some viewer requested me to do so uh, 
okay uh, so this is for this video thank you for watching